Somebody worship the living God because you can. In the land of the free and the home of the brave, by your own will and choice, you can worship the living God. We do today. Come on, do it again. Get 
deep in the river today I swore the Lord And you heard me out I saw so sweet This is awesome today to be here because Matt and I started at about 8.30 this morning. We're putting Lego blocks in Carla's house in the backyard. Dude, 97 degrees. I thought I was passing out. I said, hey, 4 o'clock's coming. I got to go take a shower. <laughs> I'm really glad to be doing anything but that right now, even though Matt did a great job. He was driving a high lift. I got to get the number of that thing. He was driving a bulldozer set. <laughs> They only weigh 2,200 pounds a piece. So everybody say, thanks for helping your dad, Matt. Matt's right over here. Oh, my God. And it was so exacting. It was blowing my mind. So, Carolyn, I'm glad to be here. Worship the living God. Faithful, you are faithful, always true, always true. You're always with me. 
one done but we're not starting that today I, I felt like I need to study it more we're doing it's in my top 20 Psalms Psalm 103 today a summer of Psalms I'm gonna just see what the Holy House along the Holy Spirit wants us to go but I'm gonna be bringing Psalms in the next couple weeks and uh, I don't we're gonna start Daniel but it, it is so powerful Wow, and, and guys, thanks for hanging up for Ecclesiastes. I got really good reports from different people on that. And other people are watching it now. They say, you're kidding me. You did Ecclesiastes, didn't tell me. I said, well, we were online. I don't know where you were at. But we're going to be doing Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul. I know for Steve Hunt, probably Mike, Sharada. Uh, who am I missing? Carolyn. Who's Carolyn, but no. Uh, lady in Phoenix, Sylvia. Oh yeah, Sylvia is. She sent us a blessing and a half. <laughs> Thank you, Sylvia. I don't know if she's on today or not, or if she'll be on later or whatever. Ian, my my man, he's over in England doing Jesus work. Come on, bro. So good. But this song. How many people believe it's time for a great awakening, revival in the land? It's time for a great awakening, for miracles and signs, signs and wonders. <laughs>
you're about to move. I feel it in the wind you're about to king of majesty right in. You said that you would pour your spirit out. And how would it happen? You said that it would fall on sons and daughters. Somebody say amen out there. I feel it in my bones you're about to
He told the disciples, well, boys, I'm leaving now. No, you can't leave. You've got to set up the kingdom and destroy the Roman Empire. He said, no, it's better that I leave. I went, what, Lord? I'm sure Peter was saying, why? He goes, well, I'm going to go prepare a place for you. <laughs> a city and builder and, who, and maker is the Lord himself. And he said, secondly, I'm going to send somebody back, the Paracletos, in my place. That would be the Holy Spirit. He will lead you and guide you into all the truth. He won't leave you. Wow. So Holy Spirit, come and do what only, because we're fixed on this one thing. We are fixed on this one thing. children open your Bible hope you still have a hard copy of the Bible some people think that they're making apps and deleting stuff I go not, not I'm gonna have a hardcore Bible I have a hard cover I've got a real Bible <laughs> Psalm 103 bless the Lord oh my soul let's go up to see why not I feel a minor right there Psalm 103, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not any of his benefits, and by a show of hands and hearts and thumbs. How many of this has got to be one of your favorite psalms? This psalm right in the middle of the summer. Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not. Yes. Don't forget any and how many benefits. You can't even count them up. And Charles Spurgeon, great man of God, wrote the treasury of David, David. If you've never heard of it, you can go take your favorite Psalms and look at his, his commentary. It, it's really powerful. And I'm going to read what he said here about Psalm 103. It is a Psalm of David. Here's what I told Carla before we started the stream. It hits me every so often. We are using the same words from the psalmist 3,500 years ago or so, and they're still working today. Now we know the Word of God is the Word of God. It's living. But I'm actually today in English singing the words from Hebrew, and what a great meaning they have. God gave us a treasury. That's why Charles Spurgeon called his book The Treasury of David. And he does all 150 Psalms, but it's something. Isn't it marvelous? Isn't it marvelous to have 150 Psalms? I mean, I will never take that for granted. I got a song book right in the middle of the Bible. Huh? Yeah. And I like it a lot. So bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. Forget not. Now, here's what Charles Spurgeon said. This is the Psalm of David. Listen closely. As in the lofty Alps, some peaks rise above all others. So among even the inspired Psalms, there are heights of songs which overtop the rest. 
and that's why they're your favorites, by the way. So this 103rd Psalm has never seemed to us to be, oh, has ever seemed to us to be the top of the divine chain of mountains of praise. You got to hear that again. <laughs> the old timers, man. He said, this Psalm has ever seemed to us to be in the top of the divine chain of the mountains of praise. I'd say yes. It is glowing with a special light. What a statement. It is as the apple tree among the trees of the wood and its golden fruit has a flavor such as no fruit ever bears unless it's been ripened in the full sunshine of his mercy. He's saying, Charles Spurgeon, that Psalm 103 ripened in the sunshine of God's full mercy. That's how David wrote it. I go, man, that's something. And this is our reply to the benedictions of God. David is, and now it's our reply to the benedictions, the blessings, the amens of God. David's song on the mount is answering the Redeemer's sermon on the mount. What a thought that is. David, in a noble style, awakens all the melodies of heaven and earth in honor of the one, the only living and true God. There is too much in the psalm for a thousand pens to write, really, if you meditate. And plus, it has 22 verses. It's a longer psalm. Most of the psalms are 8, 10, or 12 verses, but this is, well, it's David's heart. It's got more information and light than a thousand pens could write. It is one of those all comprehending, all comprehending scriptures, which is like a Bible in itself. It might alone almost suffice for a hymn book to the church. Starting at verse one, Carl, I want you to pray. Divine revelation reign for us. Father God, every time we approach your word, let us approach it with a, a, a curiosity, the curiosity of a child. We choose to know nothing that you might show us something, God. So show us something from your yes. word as we approach it here humbly wow. before you in all praise and all worship. As the psalmist said, as we bless you, Lord, with all of our soul and with all that is within us. Give us revelation knowledge. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalm 103, beginning with verse 1. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. O oh, my soul, come praise the eternal with all that is in me, body, emotions, mind, and will, every part of who I am, praise his holy name. O oh, my soul, come praise the eternal, sing a song from a grateful heart, sing and never forget all the good he has done. O oh, my soul, bless God. Don't forget a single blessing. Expanded Bible says, All that I am, O oh my soul, praise and bless the Lord. Everything in me, all my inward parts, praise and bless his holy name. My whole being, O oh my soul, praise and bless the Lord. And do not forget all his kindness, his gifts, or his gifts and benefits. The Living Bible says, I bless the holy name of God with all my heart. Yes, I will bless the Lord and not forget the glorious things he does for me. With my whole heart, with my whole heart, and with my innermost being, I bow in wonder wow. and love before you, yeah. the Holy God. Yahweh, you are my soul's celebration. 
How could I ever forget the miracles of kindness you've done for me? And I'm doing my own Selah. Wow, that's like five different versions of this. This is powerful. Here it is. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not his benefits. Yeah, oh, oh bless the Lord, O oh my soul. All that is within me, bless your holy name. Oh, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Forget not any of his benefits. Okay. We're not forgetting. Oh, and bless the Lord, oh my soul. Let all that's within me bless your holy name. I bless the Lord, oh my soul. I will not forget your benefit. Will not forget your benefit. We will not forget any of your benefits. As you spell out your benefits in your word, will not forget all your benefits. Can't stop praising your name. Can't stop stop singing the psalms. Woo! Oh, and bless the Lord, oh my soul. Let all that's within me bless your holy name. Oh. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, will not forget all oh, your benefits. Verses 3 and 4. He forgives all of your iniquities. And he heals all of your diseases. Oh, oh. Stop everything. He redeems your life from destruction. She who crowns you with loving kindness and ten isn't this awesome? Tender mercy. You forgive all my iniquities. You healed all my diseases. Crown me with loving kindness and tender mercies. You forgive all my iniquity. You heal all my diseases. You redeemed my life from evil and destruction. I'm crowned with tender mercies. You forgave all my iniquity. You healed all my diseases. My life from destruction. I'm crowned with loving kindness and tender mercies. Yeah. I'm crowned with loving kindnesses and tender mercies. I'm crowned with loving kindness and tender mercies. I mean, how can you just run? You can't even run by this. You have to meditate on it for days. It's so powerful. Well, I go to the voice translation, verses 3 and 4. Despite all of your many offenses, he forgives and releases you. <laughs> more than any doctor, hear this, he heals your diseases more than any doctor. He reaches deep into the pit to deliver you from death. He crowns you with unfailing love and compassion like a king. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. The Living Bible verse 4, He ransomed me. You ransomed me from death. Stop. 
classic who forgives everyone this is what it says in the amplified he forgives every one of all your iniquities it's i love that phrase every one of them he heals each one of your diseases wow you see every disease that has a name the name of jesus is higher than that we're going to keep praying we're going to see miracles in the supernatural flow of heaven he redeems your life from the pit and corruption wow he beautifies and dignifies and crowns you. Check these three. You got to hear that. Amplified Bible classic version. Beautifies, dignifies, and crowns you with loving kindness. Well, thanks for sharing. Thanks for shopping. He made you beautiful with loving kindness and tender mercies so other people could even see. He dignified you. When other people disrespected you, he dignified you and he crowns you with loving kindness. And then the Passion Bible, you kissed my heart with forgiveness. Wow. You kissed my heart, Lord. I, I needed a kiss on my heart with forgiveness. In spite of all I've done, you healed me inside and out, inside and out, inside and out from every disease. You rescued me from hell, saved my life. This is a psalm of redemption. You crowned me with love and mercy, Carla. Verse five and six. Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. When your soul is famished and withering, he fills you with good and beautiful things, Man. satisfying you as long as you live. He makes you strong like an eagle, restoring your youth. <laughs> when people are crushed, wronged, enslaved, raped, murdered, the eternal is just. He makes wow. the wrongs right. Oh. Amplified says, He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. Strong, overcoming, soaring. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. The Lord executes righteousness and justice, not for me only, but for all who are oppressed. And the passion says, you satisfy my every desire with good things. You've supercharged my life so that I soar again like a flying eagle in the sky. You're a God who makes things right, giving justice to the defenseless. You're the God who makes things right, even the things that have been wrong. You're the God who makes wrong things right. That's why we sing our song to you, giving justice to the defenseless. To the defenseless one, you are the God who makes wrong things right. You're the 
the God who makes wrong. You make wrong things wrong. Only you, Lord. No one else even promised to do that. You make wrong things. Lord, you execute righteousness. Yeah. Justice for all who are oppressed. Lord, you execute righteousness and justice. Justice for all who are oppressed. Lord, you execute righteousness. There is justice for all who are oppressed. This is who you are and oh, what you do, oh Lord. He satisfies your mouth with good things. Just one more time so we don't forget, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Let's just blaze on till we're 80, 85, or 90 and see what happens. Thanks for sharing, Kent. I know, it's good. Let's just blaze on. Blaze on in the Lord. Let's go, guys. Verses 7 and 8. He made known his ways to Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. The mercy. The Lord is merciful and gracious. Thank God, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. There is a difference. Think about it. He made known his ways, the ways of righteousness and justice to Moses. The children of Israel just knew his acts. But because Moses sought him and was a giant man of God, he said, I'm going to show you my ways, Moses. Don't miss this. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, plenteous in mercy and loving kindness. You unveiled to Moses your plans and showed Israel's sons what you could do. Wow. Lord, you're so kind and tender-hearted to those who don't deserve it. Oh, hear it again. Lord, you're so kind and tender-hearted to those who don't deserve it and so patient with people who fail you. Your love is like a flooding river overflowing its banks with kindness. He will not always strive with us, nor will he keep his anger forever, verses 9 and 10. He's not dealt with us according to our sins. Oh, take a minute. Oh, my God, I am so glad. He didn't deal with me according to my sins. I'd be a grease spot on the asphalt. Can you believe this psalm has all these valuable things in here? It's powerful. You did not deal with me according to my sins. You didn't punish me according to my iniquities. Thanks be to God. You don't look at us only to find our faults just so that you can hold a grudge against us. You may dis discipline us for our many sins, but never as much as we really deserve, nor do you even get for us for what we've done, nor do you get even with us for what we have done. 11 and 12, Carla. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so great is his mercy Woo! toward those who reverently and worshipfully fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. For his unfailing love toward those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He has removed our rebellious acts as far away from us as the east is from the west higher than the highest heavens. That's, That's right. how high your tender mercy extends. Greater than the grandeur of heaven above is the greatness of your loyal love, towering over all who fear you and bow down before you. Farther than from a sunrise to a sunset, that's how far you removed our guilt from us. As a father pities his children, so the Lord pities those who fear him. For he knows our frame. He remembers that we are dust. The same way a loving father feels towards his children, 
that's but a sample of your tender feelings towards us, your beloved children who live in awe of you. You know all of us inside and out, and you are mindful that we're made from dust. Amazing. You got to sing this line. So great is your mercy toward those who worship you. And great is your mercy, Lord, to those who worship you, who reverently fear, worshipfully fear the Lord. Great is your mercy. Great is your mercy. Thank, thank God his mercy is not small, but it's great. It's not ever failing. It's great. Great is your mercy. And as for man, see the bottom of that page, man. You know. As for man, his days are like grass. Oh, th this like come to Jesus meeting right here. All those big bodybuilders. What does Arnold Schwarzenegger look like now? You can't Photoshop a supermodel when she's 80. It doesn't work. As for man, his days are like grass. Wow, I'm a small man. I humble myself personally before the Lord as a flower of the field. So he flourishes. For a time he flourishes. For the wind passes over it, and guess what? It's gone. Wow. And its place remembers it no more. Wow. You see, the children of Adam are like grass. Their days are few. They flourish for a time like flowers in a meadow. And as the wind blows over the field, the bloom is gone. A scorching wind blows and they quickly wither to be forever forgotten. Our days are so few. Our momentary beauty so swiftly fades away. Then all of a sudden we're gone, like grass clippings blown away in a gust of wind, taken away to our appointment with death, leaving nothing to show that we were even here. Verse 17 and 18. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting to those who reverently and worshipfully fear him. And his righteousness is to the children's children. What a promise. To such as keep his covenant and to those who remember his commands to do them. But the love of the Lord remains forever to those who fear him his salvation extends to the children's children to who earnestly remembers his commandments to do them these people imprint them on their hearts wow and the passion says oh lord your endless love stretches from one eternity to the other. Somebody say, thank God out there. Yes, hear it. Your love, Lord, your endless love stretches from one eternity to another, the Passion Bible, unbroken and unrelenting toward those who fear you. I needed that. I don't know about you guys, but I needed endless love stretching <laughs> from one eternity to another. I receive it. To those who fear you, those who bow face down in awe before you, yes, I do that. And your faithfulness to keep every gracious promise you've made. It passes from parents down to the children, to grandchildren and beyond. Hear that again. Your faithfulness to keep every gracious promise you've made. It passes from parents down to children, children to grandchildren and beyond. And you are faithful to all those who follow your ways and keep your word. And now Carla finishes 22 verses, 19 to 22. 
The Lord has established his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless, gratefully praise the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. The Lord has made the heavens his throne. From there he rules over everything. Praise the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who carry out his plans, yes. listening for each of his commands. God's heavenly throne is eternal, secure, and strong, and his sovereignty rules the entire universe. So bless the Lord, all his messengers of power, for you are his mighty heroes who listen intently to the voice of his word to do it. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his who do his pleasure. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless, affectionately praise the Lord, O my soul. Yes, Praise the Lord, you armies of angels who serve him and do his wow. will. Praise the Lord, everything he has created, everywhere in his kingdom. As for me, I too will praise the Lord. Wow. Bless and praise the Lord, you mighty warriors, ministers who serve him well and fulfill his desires. I will bless and praise the Lord with my whole heart. God. Let all his works throughout the earth, wherever his dominion stretches, let everything bless the Lord. Let everything bless the Lord. Let everything bless the Lord come in. Praise the Lord, you armies of angels. Come and bless and praise the Lord. Yeah. All you armies of angels. Come and bless the Lord, yeah, yeah. Everything you've created everywhere in your kingdom. As for me, David said, I too, I too will bless the Lord. I too, yeah. All you mighty warriors, all you armies of angels, come and bless the Lord. Come and pray. psalm a psalm a day keeps the devil away the devil at bay wow these are live blood for worshipers 150 fabulous psalms full of the heart of god and the heart of the people worshiping him even when they went through hard times it's in there thank you jesus well it's great to be back with you guys. If you jumped on late, Matt and Taryn had a wonderful vacation. Um, Taryn's parents have a place. Is it uh, Hilton Head? And it's a long drive, but they had a great time. We had some time off. We're almost, well, Carla did the final walkthrough in her house. It's endless, Jesus. One day we're moving in, which was really close. <laughs> but it's been crazy. Thanks for your prayers. Thanks for your support, guys. We are glad to be here. We started this March 19th of 2020. We've been going ever since other than a few days off for COVID. <laughs> and we're going to keep going because the word of God is alive. I feel his blessing on it. Dude, here we go for Jesus. And I'll say it again. Daniel is chock full and I'm going to be doing smaller segments. And so I'm making sure as I'm studying through it, when we start Daniel, 
Maybe that'll be August, it'll be a couple weeks or so, whatever. But I want to make sure it's going to it's going to catapult us right into the fall. Remember the prophetic word that I got is, are you ready for the fall in the fall? And are you ready for the fall in January? Whatever that means. I don't totally get it, but I know this. We're preparing by staying before the Lord and seeking his face and listening to his Holy Spirit. Wow. Okay, we love you guys. Shalom, shalom. We'll see you real soon. Tomorrow night, we're going to be doing the Spirit, Holy Spirit River meeting with Rick Renee. Rick, blessed to teach. Make sure you jump on. We appreciate all the new people. It is something else. We love you. I'll see you soon. God bless. Wow.